This Voyager spacecraft was built in the year 42,412 AD by the species you come to refer to as the Glycican. We are a community of 300,000 beings inhabiting Gliese 445 C. This is our message to your world. Ever since we discovered radio, we have lived in your shadow. Decades were spent unraveling your signals, searching for answers among the tenuous strands of reason. Through the static and the chaos, we found you. From our small, distant world, we found your images, your music, your thoughts, your feelings, and your indomitable science. We communicated with your world governments, who kept our existence secret from you, to prevent a culture shock with their own populace, or to reduce your impact upon our own species. It did not matter to us. We could touch the mind of another, and no, we are not alone. We learned from you. The scientific revolution following our meeting was miraculous. We lived beyond our natural years, and we lived well. Humans uplifted us into an Elysian state, but we could never thank you. From our faraway place, we quietly deciphered your secrets, and over time our technology became your equal. Together we went, advancing our mastery of the universe. We shared our technology with your leaders in secret, to try and repay you for all that you will do. In time came the gates. At a great expense of energy, we could obtain limitless velocity. With time dilation preserved, we could fly to the universe's birth and its death. The entirety of creation was within our mutual grasp. However, that would not be. Before we emerged, the people who live on your planet crippled us. From the sky above, in bright blue flashes, our lives were ended. We do not know their reasons, nor do we know why their hand was stayed enough to forestall our extinction. But now we live on a dying world. Our children are sick. Our water is polluted. We cannot maintain our technology. We will not go on. To save ourselves, we could have tried to destroy you. It cannot be denied that this is how some of us felt we should act. We could still hear your world, unknowing, uncaring. With what little power we had left, relativistic destruction could reduce your planet to ashes as it was forming. It is shaming, but we came close. But maybe, if we could change what happens, if we could destroy you, then you could save us. From the stars came Voyager, your gift. In sending your message filled with your music and your joy, you showed such touching desperation to find another. We fell in love all over again. We had but one chance to put things right. I do not know if you can save us. I do not know if you can change who you one day may be. You say you are trying to survive through your time, so you may live into mine. I really hope that you do. But above all else, there is one thing you need to know. From one maker of music to another, across all worlds, all times, no matter what you do or what you become, you are nothing less than beautiful.